good morning everybody or good afternoon or evening whatever it is where you are so I uh, just want to say what's up real quick we are on our way to Middle St. Vrain Trailhead again um, today I believe it's supposed to have some snow up there so far I haven't ran into any um, we're just cruising up the road here with uh, Zach, Glenn and Jake uh, two forerunners and an old Ford that you guys have seen on the channel a few times Zach's little beast back there. There he is. There he is. But uh, yeah, so we're going up there. We're going to be doing uh, some little bit of early winter camping. I heard there was snow up there last week and we'll see if there's still any left. Uh, it's going to make that trail way harder. So we're prepared for being on the trail all day. So we'll uh, hop right into it. See you guys in a second. dies down by the time we get to camp otherwise I have a good feeling that uh we'll be using the clam tent huddling everybody in there again uh we did that a couple months back actually about last year that road was closed so we're almost to the trailhead here and we're gonna go have some fun do some a little bit of snow wheeling Woo! not Stuff. even to the trailhead somebody uh Got a little too squirrely, it looks like. How did you get behind that tree, bro? What the hell? This stuff is super, super slick. Like, I'm I'm drifting right now, and I'm barely even on it. Hopefully, it's not this slick of the trailhead, because it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> Just take our time. Woo! All right, I had to switch into some uh, more appropriate gear here. Here, I adjust my hat. feels all weird. Uh, here we go. This is the entrance. It's always nice and a little slushy right here. It's good to just make everything hey, icy. Right icy right off the bat. Okay, how's my dog? And we're moving around so I think we got to do a Yeah, all the dogs. All right, so Ooh, Jake's having a little trouble. I do not have my sway bars disconnected just because it's not very fun sometimes. Oh baby. Ooh, just barely missed his diff. Nice. It's gotta be some rear view mirror shots. I just made it through there super easy. Even, uh, even with a little bit of snow on that, I made that very, very easily. The Forerunner gang is about to make everything look harder, so I'm always going to be scared. So scared. <laughs> Go up the harder side. How did he get stuck right there at the hill? <laughs> He's got his chains dangling under there for when he gets a little sketch. This person's gonna be loud because of his uh, exhaust right here, but I just want to show you guys. Everybody says I have a small fridge. I could fit like three meals in here and a 15 pack of beer. Let's go. <laughs> so, not to mention, I do have two Fountain House meals in here with all my cooking stuff underneath, all this space for all the other stuff. Speak to peak drawers are my favorite. All right, 
off we go. I'm third in line. I had to separate people with winches. So Jake's got a winch. He doesn't, Glenn doesn't have a winch. Luke doesn't have a winch behind me and I have one. And I think everybody else behind us all has winches. So uh, from the video last week, and it looks like it's gonna be uh, pretty gnarly. And they said they went up to the rock garden last night and it said they said that it got pretty, uh, pretty sketchy and icy up there. So this might be a long day. So hang tight. I'll try and uh, not video any of the boring stuff for you guys this time. Sick. I'm going DP. DP. Alright. DP. Yeah, those are the cherry Dr. Peppers good shit. DP. <laughs> 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 Bunch of alcoholics. What? You're not I'll drinking no soda. Yeah. 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 Alright, I totally failed. I thought I pressed record when we were all taking the jello shots and we were all like cheers in and Paul said something funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I pressed stop. I didn't know it was recording. Fail, but we're gonna do it again later. Ooh, get this out of my hat or my glasses. All right, I think they're all packed up. I'm first now. So I don't have to uh, go really, really slow when I need to get some momentum. So we'll see how this goes. All right, I will say so far, if you can hear that, it's just so quiet. Can't even hear the tires touch in with the snow. It's just All right, well, I almost slid into a tree. I didn't get that on video, but um, that was pretty sketchy. This, uh, this was uh, very close to ruining my day. <laughs> Dude, it was just sliding. I couldn't get any traction. All right, this is gonna be our life for the next so many people. I don't know what we're gonna do for you. I got chains. <laughs> okay, I would back down and chain up if you can. I'm pretty level on that. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, just straight up ice. Yeah, you can help him. Uh, hey, give him the tree saver. Hey, hey. Hey, take the tree saver so he can help put on his chains. The what? Take the tree saver with you. The strap. This is interesting. <laughs> oh, shh. Hold on. Well, that was fun. Uh, you get real quick how steep it is. I mean, video never does it justice, but right before we're, or after where Zach is is a super slick section. We left my tree saver right there, so that way if we have to winch anybody else up, we can. But I got there. Super, super, super icy and slick. Try and get everybody, oh God, almost died. Almost died. Try to get everybody else 
Come on, go, 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 go. Get, get some beans. Don't stop. Go, Don't go, stop. go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Stand behind the tree. Go, 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 go. That boy, keep going. He didn't even need these. Yeah, those are definitely helping. Make a fucking big deal. Well, that was. He got through easier than I did. I'll have to pull up for you. That helps. I think I got that on video too. Just makes it look so much easier. I was sliding all around right there. That's probably good. Okay, I fell off of this already. <laughs> Glenn and I are doing some recon to make sure we're not winching everybody up for no reason. It's pretty icy. Yeah, I think we just push some snow in some of the holes like we did for you and we'll be good. That didn't look too bad. You're high centered. Go back and come driver. You're climbing on your passenger side. There you go. Come passenger. There you go. There it is. Woo. Now come drive her a little. Oh shit. I'm all the way zoomed in. You're gonna have to come uh, a little at an angle. Yeah, kind of like wiggle yourself that way a little bit and then pop out. Right there, go. Hang on, hang on. You're stuck on a big rock on the other side, so right there. Now give it the give it the beans straight. There you go. There you go. Yeah, boys. Woo! Well, fun. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Cheers. First ones to make it. Oh, yeah. And now, we're just hanging. Figure's gonna be a little bit, so why not just relax? <laughs> They're gonna be like, what the f are you sitting down for? What the beep are you guys sitting down for? Sorry, YouTube. All right, everybody. We're still just chilling. It's been 30 minutes, maybe? 25, 30, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes. Oh, that's a bad, bad lighting. Uh, yeah, they're still down at the part where I got stuck. So that's gonna be gonna be a hot minute. <laughs> some of them have made it past. They're just trying to make sure everybody gets through and we did some recon. Get to the rock garden. It's hard to see with all the snow on it, but it is very bouldery and very rocky. Obviously, when I was having trouble you saw earlier. And the wind's freaking whipping. It's nice and chilly. Finally found some of the group. 
driver. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right there. Now start going. Yup. There you go. Keep on it. Back up a hair and bump it again. And you're gonna want to turn a little pat or a little driver, then cut back passenger. A little, a little more. Right there. Driver, driver, and then passenger a little bit. Passenger. Hang on, go back a little farther. Probably go back like two feet. Passenger. Oh, you got it. You got it. Hell yeah. All right, tell him passenger. Passenger. Okay, okay, straight, okay. straight. Keep going, keep going. You got your momentum. Driver, driver. Come this way. Oh. All right, stop. Up. Cut driver. Right here. Straight. There you go. Oh, yep. Damn. Now back up just a hair. If you can back up just a cut hair, just a. Here we go. There's some traction. Whip the heart. Whip this way. Oh. Passenger. I said this way. Back up again. Okay. I say you try to keep going at me. I can't see you. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Keep going, keep going. Damn. He's gonna get sideways. Passenger. Alright, after much uh much trial and error, I'm winched to a tree behind me, or hooked to a tree behind me, and a tree in front of me. We're gonna reel them in. Nice. Yeah. Woo! All right, may have to winch another forerunner. Yeah. This is getting too slick. Should we just? Say, I heard him on the radio saying he got stuck or something. Good thing that tree saver was there, it caught me. Yeah, it did. It's a big truck, it probably weighs like 6,000 pounds. Probably. I think he can make it on his own power from right here. Yeah, I think you'll be good from here, Paul. We're gonna unhook. Yeah, I think it should be good. Thank you. Mm. Hang on. Oh yeah, she's got all the chains. Get it back up. There you go. Almost, almost. Right there. Those chains. I'm definitely buying chains now. <laughs> Oh, 
Man, there's uh, Nitto's got all the trail traction in the snow on these. This is like an ice rink too. Chris is hey, ready for dinner. Ready? Yeah. Engine Bay burritos. For the dub. Nice and hot. Oh yeah, they're hot. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> right. Sorry. Uh, we were hearing some clanking after uh, all the winching. And it looks like where I put my, probably where I put my tires and everything. Uh, rotated my steering stabilizer and also kind of sheared half of the brackets so my steering stabilizer is like barely on there but it is on there she should make it home the rest of the trail is pretty easy so even if it does break I mean I'll just take it off and just drive home without the stabilizer and they sketch but yeah we're back on the trail I got Excuse me, I think I went four people up and the rest of them made it under their own power, so it was a good job on everybody. Now I'm at the back of the pack. Now there's, there's no going around this one, so... Tire spinning. He's going to probably send it through there. Yep. Oh, right at the end, got stuck. Man, see if it's still there when she gets out. Dang. This is what everybody's getting stuck on. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> you might have to pull cable, bud. <laughs> yeah. Glenn went back across to go find his chain. I think he may have found it. Lost it. It looks like it's on there. You're good. You're good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You were close to that tree, huh? <laughs> Making our uh, last little bit to camp here. We're getting behind these huge rocks because it's super windy.
Yeah, these guys didn't tell me. This is, uh, we're going down into the hole. Jesus Christ, that's such a drop. Wow, that guy's lights make me like red. Ugh. Here we go. So the little uh, hill descent wasn't as bad as it looked, but it was like, I'm looking straight. And then they're like way down the hill. So it was a little wild, but we're almost to camp, finally. It's almost dark out too, so. <sighs> Ready for uh, some food and beers. That's kind of wild. Looks like somebody had a huge fire right there. I don't know if this is where we're camping or what. Whew, all right, I'm a little tired. I didn't show any of the tent setup because it's very windy. I had to get the stakes in as quickly as possible and throw some rocks around the edges. Whew. But now, I'm done. All I gotta do is set the cot and the sleeping bag in there. It's a neat. <laughs> show you guys that here in a second. All right, guys, bear with me. I got this little inflatable light here that we've been using. That's it, just blow into it a little bit. And then uh, plug her in, turn it on. All right. So typically to shove this up here, it's a cool little inflatable light, especially for in here. Screw the top. And I just squish the battery pack up there. Let me show you. You gotta turn that brightness down. There you go. Yeah, it's just a little inflatable LED light. stiffening poles. Gonna thread this through. but it's a brand new one so it uh still a little stiff all right 
Yeah, so I'm gonna put the heater over there on the ground today. I have that there. That's what you guys have been sitting on. It's kind of nice to have a little end table. Yeah. Not a bad one, man. I want to get to the outside. You can really see how much space there is in there. I appreciate it. <laughs> And on today's cuisine, Mountain House, lasagna. See how uh, not good this one is. <laughs> I don't want to do any dishes, let's be honest. So, boiling water and mixing the water in there. Yeah. I'm so excited about my new phone. It takes the best pictures. So, yeah, buddy. it's great. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens when we run out of wood. Guys, just came and give you an update. <sighs> Earlier in the night, excuse me, it was a uh, very, very windy. Um, the clam tent held up. Obviously, it's still here. One of the ends did try and buckle in a little bit. There was like a 60 mile an hour gust, at least. Like this, this thing holds up to win, and I got it staked down at an angle so that way the the ties don't come back in and i i got rocks all around the edge and it just whipped up everything um we ended up using the clam tent obviously i haven't fixed my zipper yet we ended up using the clam tent to uh basically hang out chill had the little propane heater going while it was windy it was good to get some people out of the out of the cold. Everybody kept coming in and out, and some of the people that came in here were like, "Holy crap! It is hot in here!" So it was good for them. Uh, Zach and his girlfriend Amy, I believe, uh, their tent. They had just a like kind of eight person Walmart tent. I'm pretty sure it ripped off where the tent stakes were in the ground, and they and the little metal pieces attached to the tent. It ripped two of those off. So that's pretty wild. But now, everybody is out where we were having the fire. Over there. They're all just chilling, uh, hanging out, having a good time. It's uh, It's been a pretty good night. We we're all just laughing, obviously you can hear. Just chilling. Um, I am looking forward to going to bed. It is, uh, it's probably about midnight now. And it's been dark since five o'clock, so it feels like uh, feels like a lot later than it is. But yeah, it's been a good night. This is much needed, like good laughter, camaraderie. Like my job's just some days just tearing me down, man. And it's like I'm just so busy every day, and I come home and I don't want to do anything. But <clears throat> this has been a been a good day. So, we all made it through Middle St. Frame. This is probably the last weekend will be open. That was pretty cool. Had to winch a little bit, a couple people. But, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning! Holy crap balls, it was windy last night. I am so happy that I had that, that uh, clam tent. Everybody, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this last night, I can't remember. Everybody was... Uh, sleeping in Jake's tent, uh, at least Zach and his girlfriend, because their tent broke at the seams at the bottom where you attach it to the ground. And oh God, currently we are going straight up. So I am trying to do these both at the same time. Honestly, not really looking where I'm placing my tires that well. So I need to pay a little better attention. But the wind ripped his damn tent apart, which is crazy. Like, that is absolutely insane. And my tent buckled in a little bit, just a little bit, and we were good. That was, uh, that was a wild night. We we uh, eventually lost the wind for a few hours and had some beers and had the fire going, which was fun. Uh, but, man, I guess it continued to be windy, which I didn't really notice in the clam tent because it's nice and tight. And they all did not sleep. And then the diesel heater did not work, which is why I have been skeptical about getting a diesel heater. So they had two diesel heaters, luckily, and the second one did work. Sorry, I have to switch sides here. Ugh. The second one did work. 
and they stayed warmer. But I said in, earlier in the night they only had a blanket, and I was like, man, what if the what if the diesel heater doesn't work? Oh, it's not gonna stop working. <laughs> Oh, it was comedy, so. Uh, yeah, now we're heading back home. Uh, we got a shitload of Jeeps to go by real quick, so. I'm gonna get off here, pay attention. We're gonna go air up and head home for the day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, press that like button, and we'll catch you guys next time. Later.